the what happens is actually very simple when you're not thinking when you learn how to go beyond the mind now i'm not saying like every moment of your life you're not thinking so you don't want to go beat yourself up over that but you learn how to disconnect from your mind by simply observing by connecting and identifying with the observer the one who is aware of the mind so as this shift happens your attention goes in that direction towards the observer who you are then the mind becomes irrelevant it's a stream of thoughts that's passing by and it doesn't have a grip on you so now your attention shift into silence you recognize and you're focused on yourself which is the being you are without mind activities what are you you're here mm. and you're just present but there's no mind activities so what happens is the moment that this connection takes place simultaneously immediately you experience expansion you experience the truth of who you are because that engagement with the mind and the thoughts it creates this sense of separation that you're separated but when you disconnect from it you become the one the oneness so the entire process of awakening or enlightenment it can just happen like this into the recognition of the space that you are in recognizing that you're the vast space and there's nothing you need to really do for it it's not an activity it's not something that we need to do meditate or work on ourselves or to do chanting or to be a good human being and none of these things it's just a moment that you disconnect from the world of the mind the thoughts and you fall back then you are awake you're completely that you're enlightened you're one the problem is that number one most people don't believe this when i say it to them it's as simple as that the mind comes and says no no it can't be that easy so now the mind is back and creates that separation two is they may experience it by pulling back which we've did it earlier today and we've done it many many times we pull back and your complete expansion normally the the person is expecting a big bang something really huge must happen because i heard about the stories of different saints becoming enlightened so we're expecting an event but it's not an event it's just super simple mm. it's it's so simple that the mind will come and create an issue any moment that you're separating yourself from it means you're quiet and there's no thoughts yeah you're completely one with everything you go back into the thoughts duality appears yeah i feel that we going too much uh, into a concept wrong right and 
actually everything is is yeah, for me what, what I realize now more and more is it's really an illusion. We create this illusion. We create the illusion of ego. We create the illusion of everything because that in the in the silence. And I remember when you was talking about that in, in Sweden, uh, and and I I start to explore more. You know, and went to a retreat to be alone by myself for one month in in the forest. And say, wow, wow, the, the thoughts, the, the, the activity of the, no ego, no nothing. It's, it's, then you you connected with that, and I wanted to, yeah, to to hear you again about yeah. that after my experience. Yeah. It's so simple. How do you say? It? It's so simple, and we create the the complications. Yeah, you know, my teacher used to say this. This was like thirty years ago, and. Uh, Obviously, I had to wait. I had to go through whatever I had to go through for 30 years before I realized it. He kept pointing out to this place, but it's just, it's just I couldn't accept it. I didn't think it would be this simple, but it is. There's another thing is a way of saying is like, the more you're quiet, the more in this place, the more you pull back. And you just simply fall into your natural state. What I'm saying about natural state is you don't have to put any effort in breathing. Breathing is naturally happening. You don't have to put any effort in watching. You look around, assuming that you, you're able to see. Uh, you don't need to have to put any effort. If you're hungry and you pick up a pizza, a piece of pizza, you don't have to do anything about it. You just eat. So, and if you look at the nature, none of the vegetations or the animals are putting any effort into being. They simply are. Mm -hmm. You know, day turns to night, night turns to day, seasons turn into each other. Not, nothing is putting an effort into making something happen. Our natural state of being, whatever you do during the day, the simple stuff, if you pay attention to it, like right now you're hearing me speaking. Do you have to put an effort in hearing me? No. You're simply interested and you're listening. Its existence is operating through you. The entire existence is operating through each and every one of us with all these basic, simple functions. That is a state of enlightenment. But for us humans, the thought comes. And the thought comes and creates something that doesn't exist. It's, that's out of lack of education. Because we were not educated from day first. No one taught us anything like that. Everything we've been taught from childhood is that in order to reach happiness, equilibrium, and peace, we have to acquire objects. I got to get rich. I got to be smart. I got to look good. I got to get the girl. I got to get make more money. I have to be a model son or citizen for everyone to be happy or accept me or love me. So I'm getting trained and brainwashed that everything is coming from the outside. Nobody from my ch childhood is teaching me that in the state of presence of just simply being, I am complete, I am whole. I am one with God. So civilization conditions you, it crookeds, it turns things around 
to project happiness, peace, love, it's something you have to go get. So everything starts being screwed up and it spirals in that direction. Then we come to this teaching. The majesty, the guru, the self somehow appears in your life in some way. And then this information starts to come. And then now the process of undoing, deconditioning, a way of being for 30, 40, 50, 60 years starts to take place. Now we're just learning to simply be, being ourselves, being here. And when I first started at this, our academy, Everything was just simply be here, be now, be here now. Now what happens is you disconnect from the world of the mind and you're just here. All of a sudden, tremendous amount of power comes, tremendous amount of, it's an expansion. It's like an explosion takes place. Because what happens is just simply being here, being quiet. Something gets activated. A natural grid gets activated. Something awakens. And when you feel this bliss or this power, and we're saying it's coming from silence, of activation of an energy field of a space that's already here through being quiet to being silent. It means by disconnecting from the world of the mind, we're falling back into the presence. Pronounce your name for me one more time. Schwan. Schwan. All right, great. And where in Venezuela do you live? No, I, li I live in Europe since almost 20 years. Okay. And okay. I, yeah, I, I was living in, in Sweden and moving around in different places. Different places. Living the good life, huh? I try. <laughs> Simple life. Simple life. Well, nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I yeah. I saw I saw the yeah the call. The and call. Yeah. And I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice seeing you again. Welcome to join us anytime you feel like it. Thanks. Thanks. I I will. Great. Yeah. Nice to hear you. Well, thank you. Well, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, Happy New Year, in case um, I don't talk to you. Hopefully, we'll get together next year. Um, regarding our next academy, I'm not sure if uh, the next one is going to be, what is the date? I don't have my calendar here. Um, when would be, what's the date of the next Wednesday? Is it, I haven't checked any, anyone looking? No, let me look. I'm gonna look into the calendar here. Um, I'll make an announcement if we're going to have an Academy next Wednesday or not. Most probably, I'm not really sure. I was thinking about, taking a short break, but uh, I'm gonna put it out. And uh, if I'm here in Los Angeles, for sure I'm gonna have it. If I'm not in town, then we will uh, have it in two weeks, okay? 
nice to see you all. Uh, have a safe uh, holiday. Do the right thing. You you know what to do. And don't fall into the trap that we talked about. Stay in your center and just trust that Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the Grand Spirit runs the show. She is the boss, okay? So don't fall into any stories that somebody is going to do something to you and blah, blah, blah. Just know that God is in control. The Creator has created the creation. And this creation is his, her responsibility. It's not ours. You just stay in your center. And that's all you have to do and everything else will be taken care of. Stay in, in your heart, in the love that you have. Don't fall into the fear. Stay in your center. This is your presence. And nothing in the existence can touch that. Nothing can touch the truth of who you are. And you are the I am. I am has always been here. It was never born and it will never die. The presence, the I am, is always here. And you are that. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Or worry about. You just stay in this place. That's where the power, the love is. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you for being in my life. You bring a lot of light to my heart. I really appreciate it. I feel the love. I'm very grateful. And I look forward to our next meeting. Love you very much. God bless.